I can still notice a bump and I still look not exactly the same in a picture. I'm this woman paid $800 to have what she thought was Botox and filler injected into her face in early August. And it was just convenient that they were doing Botox and fillers. Police alleged Shiva Ashkani performed the botched procedure and fraudulently claimed to be a nurse, injecting clients out of a business here on the Queensway and advertising on Kijiji. There's been a lot of interest in her ads on Kijiji, so we're hoping people will come forward. Ashkani is now in custody awaiting a bail hearing facing eight charges, including criminal negligence causing bodily harm and threatened death. I feel actually like she violated me. I feel really freaked out. I don't even know what she injected me with. She woke up the next day with itchy skin and a rash. And when I went to the pharmacy to get some, oh, some allergy medicine, my throat started getting really itchy and feeling like it was closing up, and so they told me to go to the emergency room. Two days later, she had to go back. When my throat was closing. I was having a complete anxiety attack. One of the original two victims who went to police tells me off camera she paid for 90 units of Botox and one syringe of the filler called Revenesse. She said she had bruising around her eyes, a fever. She says the Botox didn't work and she still has holes in her forehead. She says she confronted Ashkani and that's when the accused threatened death. On paper, it looked like the accused did have the right qualifications to administer Botox. Police are trying to determine what exactly was being injected. This dermatologist urges those considering cosmetic procedures to do research and we're having it done. And you need a medical consultation from a physician ideally a board-certified plastic surgeon or dermatologist. This alleged victim hopes others will come forward embarrassed. She didn't do more homework. I didn't go back. I just figured I didn't want this woman to touch me ever again. Catherine McDonald, Global News.